every asset manager, whether they're private equity, quant, fundamental, they're all coming to Microsoft, and I'm sure they're coming to my competitors as well, but they want some kind of a digital assistant to augment their investment professionals. And you know, no, no big surprise there. But that is that is a very imprecise ask. <laughs> uh, this is this is part of my encouragement to investment professionals to to learn enough about this to be partners with your technology staff who are trying to take you on this journey to build this this digital assistant to augment all of you. So what I've found is my customers that are making the most progress the most quickly are the folks that on staff, they've, they've invested in that rare breed of person who is both an investment professional and a technologist of some type, right? Whether they're a data scientist or, you know, lots of PhDs in AI out there. And those are the firms that have brought together their technology people and those people are the ones that are way out in front. And then the other thing is that people have to wrap their head around the fact that this is a journey. You're, you're not going to have this digital assistant that augments your investment professional's in every respect, you know, anytime soon. You're gonna start with a very narrow thing. There was a great one on yesterday, one of yesterday's panel, where they fed the risk section of K's and Q's into, into a model and just said, flag for me when any of the risk language changes. It's an awesome starting use case. But so back to my Lego blocks analogy, we're gonna start with something very narrow like that, and then we'll add another Lego block that'll add, you know, something that's just one, one step adjacent to that. This is a platform that your firms are going to build and evolve over years. It's a never-ending journey. So that, that's a mindset we need to bring to, to this huge opportunity.